Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and hold on, I gotta plug my phone in, I just realized. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, what we're gonna do today is play around and paint some cute little, I don't know what else to call these, but postcards. So essentially what this is, you can see it's pretty flat. Um, it's a little build your own, like this is an Easter lamb. And this is a rabbit with a carrot, and you can kind of see right there. And then there's a chicken and egg, like the lamb. And then there's a bunny in an egg as well. <clears throat> and this one I started peeling the, the cover off. So what these you can do is then like mail these to someone. You can it'll be like this. You put it in a like a rigid envelope of some kind, and you can mail it off to somebody. They can pop out the pieces and uh, build a little bunny in this case for Easter, paint it and all that, and um, have their own little thing. So I think we'll do the bunny today, and essentially these will be in my. Um, Etsy shop. So if you're interested in getting these maybe for a grandchild or, you know, yourself, because <laughs> I like things like this. But anyways, um, you can either send them or not. But I will peel off the top layer because uh, when I do Glowforge, they put this, it's almost like masking tape over the front and the back. And that's to keep the singeing off of your piece. So that's what that's for. Um, so I will peel off the top cover and then when you get it or whoever gets it can peel off the back bit. So um, it'll be easier to peel off the back bit because you won't have all the words and things like that. Because it, it is a little kind of tedious pulling this off, but you kind of have to have it when you're using a laser. Otherwise you're going to have a, a mess, right? So... Um, that's what that's what you gotta have so yeah I hope you guys are doing fantastic I'm doing well we've had hail and rain and snow and all the things today so yeah we're definitely moving into spring I can tell that much for sure oh and I want to say hugs and blessings to Carol Linda and Nancy, thank you guys so, so, so much for um, all your kind comments, for always watching. And I want to say hugs and blessings also to new subscribers and also my returning subscribers. I love you all and I hope that um, you know how much it means to me. It's kind of amazing when you think how many people have subscribed to my channel. I really do appreciate it and so yeah thank you thank you thank you for watching so this is a little obviously different if you were hoping for the flip-flop journal um i'm sorry <laughs> i just really wanted to play with these i thought they'd be a fun spring project and i'll try to make it uh, you know as as quick as i can um, this part's obviously real boring, so I think I'll pause. I'll finish picking this off and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. So, once you get all the tape off, which for you it'll just be on the back, um, you can just easily pop these little guys out. They kind of remind me of those wood puzzles that you may have had, you know, either as a child or for your children or whatever. That's kind of what they remind me of. <clears throat> they pop out of here pretty easy. And then obviously this outside part, if it breaks or whatever, it doesn't matter. You can just toss it. I suppose you could use it as some sort of stencil if you wanted to, but um, it will be your directions because this is the only thing that'll come with these to help you see how to, you know, put it together. I mean, it's really pretty obvious because you have a back piece, uh, a body with feet, and then obviously these are the feet you know more with more detail and then the face and the little egg top and then these are the little hands so I mean it's not like anything super complicated but that's what's going to give you the idea of how to how it goes together <clears throat> okay so you kind of have to look at it and think about um you know 
there's going to be multiple layers with the same color because you'll have to do the feet, the feet, the feet, that kind of thing. Obviously, this bottom layer, you don't need to do much detail or anything. I still, um, I mean, I guess you technically don't even have to paint that bottom one. I would obviously paint the feet here just in case for some reason you saw a little bit of the feet it's not going to be this brown color that's the only reason I would paint everything <clears throat> but that's totally up to you and I'm just going to use acrylics just regular these are pretty generic acrylic paints in whatever colors you want to choose so yeah, I just thought these would be a fun little thing to maybe have to give to grandkids or like I said, to have for yourself. And then when it's all complete, um, because they're dimensional, they'll sit up on a shelf. Obviously this one thickness isn't gonna do it, but once it has this part and the feet on here, you can set it up somewhere. So that's what they are. Kind of a fun little, fun little thing to have, I think. I think I might do my bunny kind of a light brown is what I'm thinking. I don't know. Could do gray. Like a really light gray. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. And see what we get. So I hope you guys are doing fantastic. I'm doing good. Other than the crazy weather. <clears throat> can't tell how great my light is here. Got shadows everywhere. Shadows, shadows. I'm waiting for my, I did order, I think I told you guys, a um, ring light. I'm just waiting for it to get here. It should be here tomorrow, I hope. Hopefully, 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 hopefully. I'm going to make... A very light gray bunny. But you could do white or black or um, brown. We had white bunnies with black dots. They had black spots on them. They were so cute. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to go ahead and cover this part all in gray just because I want to and I'm going over the ears and everything just to try to get a nice smooth coat on here you want to be kind of careful about the sides because they are sort of like finished because of the glow forge the way it cuts um, sort of finishes the edge and these are made from a medium draft board which is somewhat like malamine without that plastic coating white coating on it but the inside part is kind of a i don't want to say particle board because it doesn't just fall apart like particle board can but it's that sort of idea so you just gotta kind of get your paint on try to keep it smooth maybe sort of one direction so that hopefully it you don't get weird covering there you know it covers nicely is what I'm trying to say <clears throat> and then what I'll do is go back and put the detail in the ears in the middle but I just want to get a nice smooth transition there if possible that is one thing this kind of particle board does soak up the paint so if you let it set and don't keep it moving you will end up with you know lines and stuff and if you can I would suggest letting it dry between you might need like two coats just to get good coverage on them because <clears throat> they're, you know, the brown underneath and it shows or can, especially if you're using like white paint or something. OK, 
Okay. And then, still got some weird lines. I guess there was an earthquake today. My daughter texted me and said, did you feel the earthquake? We didn't feel it out here. I was driving at the time, I guess, that it was. And I didn't even know about it because I had to go to the dentist this morning. Um, she said it was at about 1030. But I didn't feel it. She said it was shaking pretty good. She was in class and all the lights were swinging. So... And she, her, her friend that sits next to her was kind of like bouncing the table, you know, with her legs, just that nervous thing that we do sometimes. And she's like, I almost told her to quit because it was shaking so hard, but it wasn't her, it was the earthquake. It's like, oh my gosh. But yeah, I didn't even feel it, but I'm in a different area than she's in. And where the epicenter was, I understand why I didn't feel it. Because it wasn't like a super strong one or anything. But we do get them now and then. That's for sure. Okay, so there's all the gray part that I'll do for that one. And obviously that's going to be a different color because that's the Easter egg up there. But for our purposes for that bit... I think it's fine to just have the gray. And then I'm gonna do the gray face on the bunny. And I'm gonna try to sort of leave uh, very little on these lines for his mouth and that, just so you can see it. The, the big thing is really just trying to keep your strokes not looking crazy. And the paint you use, if you have a better quality paint, you're obviously going to get a better quality paint job. But I'm just using real generic paints. But if you do painting of stuff more often, then you might have a nice paint. I just love these kind of projects with kids. Kids just love stuff like my kids would have loved this <clears throat> when they were little. And it's just a fun thing to, you know, like put out every Easter or whatever. They get a kick out of that. Seeing their artworks out, you know. Plus it's just a fun, fun time with them make something okay or like I said just for yourself because like I like this kind of thing it's very relaxing very zen uh, feel free to fast forward I know it's not for everybody to sit and watch me do this <laughs> but it's fun it's fun for me Got to do it every once in a while. <clears throat> and I'm going to paint over the feet entirely. I will come back and fill in the little beans in pink. I would call these beans. They look like cat, cat beans. They're little pads on their feet. We call them beans anyway. I think that's pretty common. I've seen it around beans. My husband and I have been watching Friends <laughs> again from the beginning. Oh my gosh, that show slays me. It's so crazy to see Matthew Perry then. And it's sad to think, you know, after he's passed and it's such a great show <clears throat> they're just a little the people on that show are just a little bit older than my husband and I barely but just a little bit I was in college when that show was on it's a 
great show. It's hilarious. You forget, and then you watch it again, and you're like, oh, yeah, that show is so good. Very cute. A few of you said same, um, same thing I did about Fargo. <laughs> First one was great. Second one was meh. And the third one was like, never mind, I don't even want to watch it. But this new one, I'm telling you. I mean, like I said, it is violent, but oh my gosh, she just does such a great well everybody did a great job but she just really did a great job <clears throat> and I don't know what her name is and I think I said Ted Danson I'm such a dork it's Ted Lasso we're not talking about cheers here we're talking about Ted Lasso so sorry about that but anyways um, the main character of the new Fargo is is it Keely on Ted Danson? I don't know her name as an actress. I apologize. I'm not good at that whole what actors and actresses' names are. My husband's always like, who is that? It's like, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. You know, they were on that show. That's what I'll say. He's like, yeah, I know that, but what's their name? It's like, I don't know. Don't know. But yes, that was, we binge watched that very quickly. And then it's over and you're like, now what are we going to watch? Sad days. I mean, she's great on um, Ted Danson too, but, or not, I keep doing that. Ted Lasso. My goodness. But she's very good on Fargo. I should probably look up her name so I know what to call her. <clears throat> kind of a dingling like that. Okay, I'm going to move to a different color, even though those need a second coat, because I don't want, I want it to stay looking as good as possible. So, I mean, I want it to get dry. <laughs> I'm going to use this Calypso blue for the egg with some white in it, I think, just to calm it down a little bit because it's kind of wow. Well. Yeah, sometimes you got to kind of take a break from the paper. I love paper crafting. That's always been my favorite forever. But every once in a while, it's like, I just need to do something different. So I like to do little projects like this here and there. And I saw these um, this weekend while I was cutting orders and doing stuff like that. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need to make some of those because they're adorable. And there's also... Like, I don't know if you guys will like these or not, but if you end up liking them, I might download the bumblebees. There's bumblebees and ladybugs, too, that are super cute. But if nobody's interested, then I'm not going to bother. <laughs> before I can list them in my Etsy shop I need to I have to make one you know to take a picture of for you guys okay then we'll do this shell oh the feet right there let's do this one first and then we'll go back and do those feet forgot forgot some feet actually those will get covered but
Just got to be careful around the edges. As always, with coloring or painting or what have you. If we could all just be children, it would be a lot more fun, right? Because they'll probably just have a blast and do crazy colors and don't care if they get it on the feet or the paws or wherever. That's the fun of it. They'll have purple bunnies and blue bunnies. All the things. <clears throat> It is weird how a lot of, we lose that as we age. We get too serious. When you don't have to. But there's always that, well that's not what a bunny looks like, right? Mm -hmm. What if yours does? I always thought it was so cool on the Wizard of Oz um, when they're at Oz and they like dye the horses green and all that and then pink I think I don't even remember it's been a really long time since I watched that but I just remember thinking that was so cool when I was younger of course I was terrified of those flying monkeys but and the witch but I love the rest of that movie Yeah, that witch was so scary. But then every year on Halloween, I'd like to dress up as a witch and I would try to look like her. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay. So let's do this one and then we'll deal with the feet on that other one. Yeah, we all need a paper break sometimes, I think. You definitely can get burnt out. I think I was watching, or I saw a post by um, Mo's Addiction, and if you follow her at all, she does the coolest collages. But anyways, she was saying the other day how she's just, it's like all of a sudden she doesn't know how to collage because she's just gotten burnt out. It's like, yep, that happens. To all of us. And then all of a sudden it pops right back and it's like, okay, I'm ready again. No, oh, it's so weird. That creative thing and you can't force it because if you force it, oh boy, it just gets harder and harder and harder. That's why I had to stop doing um, custom journals where, you know, people say I want this style of journal and that colors or you know whatever because that was a real struggle for me because if I didn't feel like doing that at that time <clears throat> it just becomes paralyzing and it seems so silly it's like just do it it's like I can't <laughs> and that's another reason I only do you know I do one of a kind journals I don't do the same journal again because I just, I can't, I just completely freeze up. I lose interest and I just don't want to do it. So weird. But if it's some crazy idea that I come up with, I'm, I'm in. The whole muse thing or whatever it is, I don't know. And I, I know I'm not the only one because I know like Carol Laws, I've heard her talk about that with custom journals. She'll do, um, you know, like you can go on a list to get one of her journals, but it's just she makes them. If you want that one, you can purchase it kind of thing. She doesn't 
Um, I'm just gonna paint this all this color, I think. Um, she doesn't do like I, a person specifically wants this digital kit, say, or whatever. She doesn't do that, but she says even that's hard. Cause you just, I don't know what happens sometimes. There's no explaining it and you can't explain it to somebody else and you don't want to let them down. And there's just certain themes, like a lot of people have asked me to do boho. I did one boho journal and I'll never do another one. And I don't know why, like it turned out fine. I just, yeah, it's just weird. Well, I don't want to say I'll never do another one because who knows, tomorrow I could decide I want to do one, but probably not. I know one I'd never do is a, like a horse journal because I just am not into horses and never have been. Nothing against horses, just not my thing. I'm not really sure how I want to make these like darker, <laughs> but I don't want to cover up the beans. But that's why it's excellent to have lots of people who do make journals and stuff because we all have different tastes or things we like. Ah, my hubby's home. I'm gonna have to pause for a minute because there are 3D printers are acting up and he will know how to fix them. <laughs> I don't, I can't get it to work. I tried. So I will pause. I will finish putting, you know, another coat on these. I won't glue it together until I come back, but I'm sure you guys get the idea. You just paint them up, glue them together. It's not like that hard. And then, um, Another thing that would be fun for kids, well, or anybody, would be once they're dry, you could doodle on them a little bit or like have some fun little stickers that uh, kids could stick on them. And that would be another fun thing. So I will be right back. Okay, I am back and I got all the parts painted multiple times. That's gonna get covered, so I'm not worried about it. Those are still drying, but I'm gonna take my Posca pen and do the little uh, details on the bunny since it's acrylic paint as well. So I'll come in a little closer. I don't wanna come in too close. But obviously you can just continue to use paint, but if you have Posca pens, they will just make your job a bit easier, quicker, hopefully. I just think they're super cute and so fun. I think for kids, especially. Cover, color the beans. <laughs> so my husband comes in, pulls the plastic, the filament out of the printer, cuts the end, puts it back in, which I have done this already today, shoves it back in there, gets it working, and turns it on <laughs> to print. It's like, I don't know. I did the exact same thing, but it wouldn't work for me. I couldn't get it to extrude. 
I think he has more, uh, he's more willing to force stuff, you know, like strong arm it a little bit and that seems to work better, but I'm always chicken. I'm going to break something. I think that's the nature of, of us humans. The two different sexes <laughs> just seems like they just have a different approach than we do. <laughs> he battled with those all weekend though, poor guy. Like I said, they go along and they just will print and print and be beautiful and fine and then I don't know what happens. <clears throat> I love these Posca pens when they work good. Sometimes um, the white is a struggle for me, but white, uh, I went out of the lines there. White gel pens, everything can be a struggle, so I don't know. Man, the weather is so nutty. It is just hailing, just giant hail. Ah, darn it. Um, a minute ago it was just raining now it's like I don't know it's a pretty big hill not not like ping pong balls or anything but it's all over the place today just fix that a little bit Okay, put that aside and let it dry before I goop it up more. Then I'm gonna take the black and do with the eyes. The tip on that's kind of messed up. Too cute. Okay, so I think the way I'm gonna do this is use tacky glue because it will work. You could also use a wood glue or um, I know art glitter glue will work for this kind of stuff because Sean and I have done a clock that hangs in our kitchen and use dark glitter glue to glue it together. I'm sure like Gorilla Glue would work, but I don't know that you'd want kids having that. I think Tacky Glue is probably the best if you're gonna let the kids glue it together kind of thing. Um, I mean, for all I know, Elmer's would even be fine, probably, most likely. I used to use Elmer's all the time for everything, so... I don't know why I started using the fancier stuff, because it really does work pretty darn good. Especially paper. But we think we need the new fangled thing, you know? <clears throat> or the one everybody else is using. And you'd probably be fine with just Elmer's. Now that's gonna be sloppy because I can put a lot on there. Okay, just try to make sure it's even. That's like the big thing. We gotta put the top of the eggshell 
sort of take it a little easier on the quantity here. Now, obviously it's up to you. You don't have to paint all the layers because see like I just covered up that blue with blue. But if you just wanna make sure in case it's tilted a little or something, when it glues together, it's just kind of a good idea to glue all the stuff. I don't know which foot's which, but I don't know that it matters. I think they're the same. Stay on there. I forgot to ask my husband if he felt the earthquake. I should have done some dots or something on the egg. I would suggest doing any decorative bits probably before you glue it all together just because uh, you'll have, it'll just be easier. Stuff won't be in the way. if it matters either with these. I think they're the same. Little hands. Pause. <laughs> Whatever we call the bun bun parts there. Oh, I forgot to do that with the pink. Oh no. I wonder if I can do it. Yeah, it was goopy enough. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I just think a paint paintbrush is easier because of getting in this edge next to the face of the bunny. I don't know, it still might be tricky. So yeah, make sure you get all your pink parts, pink, or whatever color you want them. My husband's out there, sorry, if you can hear that. He's rowing on his rowing machine and so the TV's like next level loud. <laughs> Apologize. I should have used that today too, but I just had too many things to do. I think hopefully we got it. So yeah, you could add polka dots. Would be cute. Um, all kinds of little doodles you could add to the eggs. If I was gonna do a girl, I'd probably do pink cheeks. I suppose I could still do some pink cheeks. Huh? I just don't know that I want them that as pink as that is. Sorry, I get real quiet when I get trying to do details. <laughs> and if you've done like primitive 
um, type art painting of things, you could definitely paint these probably much better than I can. All the little cute faces and stuff. I'm gonna try to put just a little gleam in his eye to give the life. It's cute. Could put a little bit just lightly. And pink on the little top of the paws just because it's cute. They don't really have that, but I think I need to fill these in a little more. Got it too watery. works better on this wood Do these dripping glue everywhere. I want one in between there, but I'm scared. <laughs> you probably do it with a paintbrush easier. Yeah, that is easier. Is it stopped hailing? There's hail all over the roof across the street though. <laughs> now it's gonna rain <laughs> some more. Okay, I think that's good. He's so cute. I don't know how well you guys can see him. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys wanna give that a try. I think it's super fun, but um, yeah, so they, they will be in the shop, and I will see you all again soon. Love you. Bye.